Welcome to This Week in Real Estate. I'm Sloan Brown. And I'm Lee Tessier from Tessier Real Estate. So, Lee, most people kind of expect a certain thing of, of their agent. You know, you're, you're helping me sell my house, buy a house, get financing, you know, go, go through all the, what's legally required, all that kind of stuff. But there are often other issues that come up that you guys also have to end up kind of helping with. Give yeah. me some examples. Of that. Yeah, so I think I've always gone above and beyond and not looking for, like, kudos for us. But I think of um, Paul, one of my agents, super analytical guy. He had a buyer that was purchased on a house. The, the septic failed. Thankfully, there was public sewer from the neighborhood, a newer neighborhood behind it. So he went to the county, did some investigating, got with the septic people, uh, got with the county, what, what are some options? So they found out that they could tie into that public utility behind it, but it was about a twenty to $25,000 cost to do it. So again, he did some more investigating, talked to some people. There were some grant funds out there available up to somewhere around twenty grand to help out with the cost. So they, they negotiated back and forth. They ended up getting a better deal on the house, which helped. And then um, they knew that they were going to have this upfront fee somewhere around twenty grand. And we were hoping, like best case scenario, we're going to get around twenty grand back. Um, may cost twenty five thousand, and they could get nothing back, but it could be that they get you know twenty thousand dollars back. So we work work through. Now it's been five months since they settled. They got all of the infrastructure put in. Everything's hooked up. They just got checks back, so they got uh, a little over twenty thousand dollars back. So it, all wow. in all, it cost about fifteen hundred dollars for so that. That was something that your guy Paul did yeah. all the work for, and yeah, and he had got been. you know he spent time like going through rather than just saying hey. You're going to have to go to the county. You're going to have to right, do this. Right, right. He did take on a lot of this and say, all right, let's help connect the dots. They're going to have to be involved and do a lot of this as well. But, you know, get the tie-in from the county. Let's get all the right people involved. Let's make sure we go through all this red tape process. So when it's all said and done, now it only costs you 1500 bucks. That was our best case scenario, and it was fantastic that it worked out that way. doesn't always, but, again, as long as you know going in, let's hope for the best and plan for the worst. It's a much better outcome right. than that. Uh, and there's so many different scenarios that we see. Yeah, I mean, I've been uh, thinking it's, it's kind of like the Girl Scout or Boy Scout model, be prepared. Boy, you guys have to be. Yes, and that, you just never know what's going to get thrown at you. We're, we are uh, sometimes the firefighters. We're just putting out problems because the oddest stuff comes up. I had one that we were supposed to settle on on uh, Tuesday morning, the day after Columbus Day. All of a sudden, 9 o'clock that morning, we get an email from the lender saying, oh, we can't settle yet. We need a... Um, permit from the county on this addition. Well, this addition was put on over 18 years ago. Whoa. It was an 85-year-old seller, and they wanted a permit pulled from it. And they said, you know, it's on the tax record. So I had it to, never got the official permit? They, th- nobody could find a copy of right. it. Well, the county only keeps them for about five years. So if not, then it's all you're on your own. Well, it wouldn't make it to tax record if it wasn't permitted at some point. So I had to escalate up, escalate up. We finally got it pushed all the way up about five levels. At Bank of America, they finally had approved. It took us about an additional week, but we got it settled with the information that we gave. But we're firefighting between the lender, the appraiser, the buyer, trying to make this all work. So there's a lot of hoops that have to be jumped through. Mm-hmm. So the sellers don't have to do it, right. or the buyers don't have to do it. We're we're earning our way through it because a lot of times people are saying, "Man, there's a lot of commission there." Like you have no idea what we do behind the scenes. And, yes, and, and speaking when you see of which, because I know we're running out of time. Um, so this means that, like anybody who's watching us right now, when you next deal with whether you know it's Lee or another of, of his agents, um, ask about the story about the bats. Right. right. And with That's that, interesting. we'll see you next time. Take care. <laughs>